Hello, so let me give you a little update on my new hair that I just got. This one now is going to be a bigger unit and expanding to a much bigger size than I'm having now. This one is the same, same manufacturer as this one. It's just this one is 8 by 10 inches, so it's round like this and it covers the top and this one now it's a bit bigger as you can see this is almost like a full coverage this one is going to be pretty much going all up to like just above my ears and here just kind of below the occipital bone and it will make for a much bigger amount and percentage of uh, hair system hair uh, versus mine. So why I'm doing this is because my own bio hair is progressing and thinning, so it's not as good looking anymore. The whole idea of hair replacement is that you seamlessly blend in the hair system hair with your own hair. And this worked for me for the last 10 years. I was able to have the same uh, size for the last 10 years because my bio hair kind of matched the hair system hair in density and everything so it was seamlessly blending in together but now it's becoming more obvious as you can see like much more density on the topper and quite less in my own and it's just I'm having that issue that I can see through uh, my hair because the bottom area is not as thick anymore so it just doesn't look as good anymore also when I'm wearing the ponytail up I just cannot really blend it well anymore so this is the time where you go and expand the unit at the start of this journey it was logical to start with smaller units and then expand as I see my hair loss expanding but you can obviously start with a bigger unit so this one is quite similar in all the specifications as this one this one I'm wearing for it will be a year in two weeks so I think it held pretty well being that I wear 24-7 and this is why uh, sometimes when people are thinking about the cost, it really depends how well the manufacturer is in the first place and how you take care of the unit. This one really served me well and usually I would say like two to three units a year are an average in this type of hair replacement. So this is a great, great above average for me. But this one you will see is also lace this is like a French lace and it's made according to my measures so, so I send in a mold of my exact head the curvature and everything and I mark where I want it to start finish so it blends really neatly and smoothly the whole idea so it's not readily made you have to wait for it it needs to be custom made just like the dress or anything similar so this one is having 125% uh, density but that is really uh, specific to the manufacturer this one I would say in basic terms would be medium to medium heavy density and on the scale of this manufacturer is 125 which you can see that is a lot of hair but I do love it and it suits me better than the thin hair also I have as you can see nice knots they're nicely bleached I only asked for the knots to be bleached at the very front and perimeter and a bit of the top area here because the thing is when you have bigger density it doesn't really show as much anyway 
and uh, the durability of your hairpiece will remain significantly higher if you do not really over uh, bleach your knots. So if you can kind of ba balance that with uh, the look of the hairpiece and the knots, I would suggest if you can just not to uh, over bleach everything. And you can see like what I'm always doing, I want those most critical areas to be nicely done which this does perfectly. And for the color, I sent the, my own hair sample and also one sample of a hair piece that I liked. So I have requested for a blend of 80-20 in the favor of my own hair this time. This one was 70-30 in the favor of the lighter hair piece, which is very, very similar, almost matching so it's just another percentage of my own because i did want darker hair this time and the hair is indian hair it's like really good quality indian hair which you can see really uh, served me great for the one year uh, this is how my natural hair also was like the texture of so it blends with this quite nicely and this is 40 centimeters, which is, I even think, longer than the usual 40, you see, really nice. And it's like the natural straight, which you can see kind of dries a bit wavy, but that, that's always the case with Indian hair. So you will never have it as like point straight you have to probably do some straightening but if you like this this will how it probably will be after washing and that is exactly how mine used to be like so that's a new one and i will be updating once it's on it will be a big big step for me because it's now much bigger much bigger coverage and i will need to shave more of my own hair so it's like you cannot go back but that is kind of how life is right you just keep going forward so it doesn't affect me as much this time because like the worst part was done 10 years ago when I started and now it's only like just of adapting to what it is and that would be an update uh, I will keep you posted. If you have any questions, you can always reach out.